Goodout is getting more and more popular, we all know that. Not only because of the Unity debacle, but also for the amazing engine that it is. Today we will take and analyze the latest metrics from the GMTK Game Jump 2024 that give us an amazing idea on how popular the good old game engine is becoming. I am sure that the results will surprise you. So these are the official uh, graphics that we are going to be analyzing that were provided by GMTK um, throughout the different game jumps that have passed. Okay, The first game jump was held in 2020. And uh, we are mostly going to just be focusing on uh, good old and Unity. And something quite interesting here is the fact that Game Maker was even more used by something like six points than good old. And of course, more than 50% of the games uh, were created using Unity. So indeed, just here the difference between Unity developers and good old developers was huge. And even not many people actually was using the good old engine because we see that uh, for example game maker had much more developers in 2021 there is um a small improvement in good old because now it had a uh, 30 percent instead of a uh, 11 percent so we have two percent more people that use the good old engine in G the gmtk game jam 2021 but at the same time, we had something like 7% more people using Unity because we passed from 54% to something like 61%. But in 2021, it seems that a lot of people actually started using Goodout or at least migrating from other engines to Goodout. We saw that we had Game Maker with 17% of uh, games created with it, and now we only have 8% of it. So it seems that game maker uses users uh, were using, for example, Goodout as uh, their main engine because we see that there isn't that big difference in terms of other engines that that were used. Um, as you can see, the the amount of games, the number of games that were created with other engines besides game maker, Goodout, and Unity was quite the same one in 2020 and 2021. So this means that basically probably lots of game maker users actually switched to Goodout. Probably because well in some way at least in 2021 they 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 used to be quite equivalent in terms of at least that well game maker was uh, completely focused on 2D and Goodout uh, was also quite focused on 2D. So maybe people wanted to try out uh, Goodout a little bit. And now the case in 2022 is once again good for good old and better than 2021. Unity's percentage stayed quite similar. We had 61.1 and 2021 was 61.6. So a little bit less people using their Unity, but was still quite a solid uh, number of people. But what we can see here is good old had over 50% of people whereas it used to have 13 and here game maker used to have 8.9 and here it had 6.1 and once again the amount of people using other engines besides um without unity and game maker was still quite similar okay so indeed people was still choosing or basically new developers were choosing the without engine or there has been some migration from these engines to the without engine and in 2023, when all the Unity debacles started, because well, actually the Unity debacle starts in something like July, August, September, or something like that. And basically, the GMTK game jam also started to took place in some place like that. There was still lots of people that started using Goodout. In this case, we had 19%, unlike 2022, that we had 15. So indeed, 4% more from one year to other. That's huge. And Unity, there have been actually less people using Unity, 61 versus 59. It was actually the first time in three years that Unity uh, had less people using it. In 2020, it was 54, 2021, 61.6, then 61.1, that well, was quite similar. And then in 2023, it had 59. So it was the first year that less people was choosing to use Unity. And also we see how here Game Maker was only used for the 5% of people, 
whereas here it was six so um, the the amount of people the number of people that was using game maker was always been decreasing over time whereas the amount of people using growth was always increasing and once again the amount of the number of people using other engine stayed quite the same but here it comes the the biggest thing about everything and probably what most of you could have expected about gmtk 2024 and you are probably going to be completely surprised and blown away by the results that we are going to see right now and the thing is that Guido took 37 percent of games super close to unity 43 percent so it is amazing because this means that literally um first of all unity is not anymore like the the engine that has lots of points from the first most used engine and the second most used engine because here we have mostly 60 in unity and 20 in without 40 points of difference and here we only have um six points of difference so the gap between the two has been drastically um decreased reduced in just one year of time indeed what without is achieving is just amazing historical i would even call it because imagine, let's say, stealing the throne from a kingdom, okay? From the king of literally everything in a matter of one year, okay? Just one year. And a software that is free and open source. This literally blows my mind and for sure it is also going to blow yours. And in terms of other data, game makers stayed with the same 5%. There also seems that there have been more people using the Unreal Engine. Probably uh, most of these people uh, used to be people that used Unity and that wanted to try out Unreal, uh, maybe for, for most complex 3D games that maybe with Grouch could be a little bit more complicated to achieve. But well, once again, if we compare uh, 2023 and 2024, the number of people that was not using Grouch and Unity stayed the same. But well, the, the most important thing here besides the other engines is basically the, the gap between Grouch and Unity, 37 versus 43%. So what is going to be waiting in 2025? Will Grouch be able to finally defeat Unity, have more games released in the GMTK game jump uh, than Unity? Are they going to be uh, in a draw? Uh, we will see what's happening, but well, Everything is like uh, flowers right now for, for Qdot. I also created some graphics my, on my own uh, to show you more information. So here we see the different years. And well, the, um, the blue one is Qdot and the red one is, uh, is Unity. And as you can see, in 2020 and 2023, well, the, the number of people using Qdot, let's say that was quite similar. Unity was always like slightly increasing, for example, from 2020 to 2021. Then from 2021 to 2022, it was quite similar. In 2023, as there was some people that maybe um, wanted to try out Guidot because 2023 was quite an interesting year with Guidot uh, because of uh, all the new features that were released for the engine, the new version, etc. So probably that's why there has been uh, maybe less people using it. But well, just compare here 2023 and 2024. It is just amazing. I see how close Guidot is to unity and here in this other graph you can see the the amazing line that growth has over here and the, and the awful line that unity has over here so indeed my biggest question here and i think that yours is also going to be is like what is going to be happening in 2025 will unity be able to do something and uh, maybe uh, reset uh, the, 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 the history and to recover, let's say, its throne, or Guidot will finally be able to surpass it. I would love to hear your opinion in the comments down below. I hope that this video has been helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.